All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 81. All right. So when the user has a calorie deficit, the remaining calories value will be negative, of course. Uh, but we don't want that to uh, be displayed in the string. Okay, cool. Uh, so math.abs is a built-in JavaScript method that will return the absolute value of a number. In our span text, we're going to wrap our remaining calories reference in math.abs to ensure that the value is positive. All right. So yeah, math.abs is a pretty good way to... Uh, make absolute values. In fact, I don't even think there's any other way to do that. Uh, let's come over here and check it out just in case. Uh, so just type in math.abs and it just comes right up. Uh, we've got the math.abs thing over here with the, uh, <laughs> it's like five in the morning guys, or like six in the morning guys. So I'm not totally with it right now. Uh, so we've got this right here. The math.abs static method returns the absolute value of a number, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to have math.abs and then x in there, which is uh, just any number as the parameter, right? Uh, so let's come back over here and check it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to be wrapping the remaining calories reference in math.abs. So it's not going to be this whole thing. It's just going to be the reference to it inside of it. So just double click that, wrap it in parentheses thusly and say math.abs, math.abs in front of it, all right? So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 82, and we'll see you next time.